Well, in today's trending stories, one dating app is trying something that could put extra pressure on that first date. Hinge is trying to compete with Tinder. It is offering a new feature called We Met for members to share how their first dates go. It's kind of a review on your dating skills. Hinge says it will use the feedback to better recommend future matches and then weed out those people who behave badly. Hinge focuses on long-term relationships. I can't think of a way that that would actually go well. I think it would go well you because do. if you just have a little, I mean, I guess it's it, you could do a little bullying, but I mean, if no, I, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank goodness I'm not on either one. A lot of people talking about a power outage over North Carolina because of something that was caught on camera. Take a look at what happens as this reporter is getting ready to go live. I'm rolling. Oh, oh shoot. Transformer explodes right behind her. She was covering a power outage after a truck hit a power pole, putting 8,000 people in the dark. Now they are back on and everyone on that TV crew is okay. Well, royal baby fever already spreading as Prince Harry and his wife received congratulations from all around the world, including their first birthday gift. Today, Harry and Meghan toured a zoo in Australia. They say a live koala bear. They saw a live koala bear and then the local governor general gave them a stuffed kangaroo for the royal nursery. All eyes will be on that growing baby bump as the royal couple tours Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. Watch for more coverage of the Royals during Inside Edition after this newscast. And how do you follow up an infamous visit to the White House? Well, if you're Kanye West, you show off your dance moves in Africa. The video getting a lot of attention this afternoon as Kanye dances to a new Nigerian song in an outdoor studio. His fans in Africa are going nuts about this one. Kanye and his wife Kim Kardashian, both in Uganda, where Kanye is recording songs for his next album.